things. Uh, but this one's kind of more about like, you know, we talked about, you know, a lot of different things. So it is what we're going to talk about, you know, just like, you know, pain, not pain in general, but like, you know, surrendering to it sometimes when it's, you know, really bad. So, yes, yeah, so sometimes, you know, in life, you know, you have those days, you know, when you've got a really bad headache or you're not feeling great or, you know, you're just not feeling the, you just, you're not feeling the greatest. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, even if it's a throat or something, sometimes in that situation, um, sometimes you do have to kind of, even, even when, we, even when you're sick, you know, sometimes you have to surrender to pain, you know, and I, and you know, what do they say? Rest is very important as well when you're sick as well, if you're really sick as well. If it's just a cold, then I guess, you know, it doesn't like, if you, if it's just a cold that you're having, then, that, then I guess that wouldn't really count. Cause if it's just a cold and you're feeling okay, you're feeling like yourself, then, you know, much forward, but if it's like sick, sick, or like pain, pain, then you have to surrender to it at some point. Because you know, the other day I was in pain and I was doing something on my laptop, I was working on scripts, um, for a inserted um series coming out very soon this year with the iPad race. I'll give you a hint. So, yeah, so um. You know, so I was working on that, and uh, suddenly I was just like, I felt so good, but then I was like in agony or pain, and I had to go and lay down. And I was like, oh, you know, I wanted to get something done, but unfortunately, you know, it's like saying like, you know, not telling you to surrender to rain that easy. Like it's just a booby. That's just a booby. Don't rest because of it's just a booby. But I'm talking about like sickness. Like if you're sick and bad, like COVID. Like COVID's a good example because I was affected by COVID last year. And that took a lot of toll on my fit, me and my family. And I think in some degree, sometimes, you know, um, that does affect us still. Because even though we might not have COVID in our systems or we might have gone over COVID, there are times where it's like, you'd like tired. Like, oh man, I'm, I'm so tired. I don't know why. Like during this heat that we're having here, um, where we are, um, as well, and I, and then I, and then I check my algor algorithm, if I can say that, algorithm. Most of you guys are from, most of my viewers are from here. So, hello, good day, good day, mate, how are you? Um, but also the second one coming from the United States, which is the US as well. I pick up for like Mexican and Indian, Indian followers as well, which is very interesting. I'm, I'm of a di diverse group sometimes, <laughs> so yeah, just depends. But yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, like, I was, like, sick in bed for about, like, you know, sometimes I would go do something, I'm just like, oh, I can't. Like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, the heat wave. So, we've got some pretty, you know, if you, if you wear, if you are where I am, we've got some pretty, um, we've got, we've got some very, um, hot days. And that also kind of makes you tired due to lack of, um, not fresh air, but, you know, heat. You know, it's summer where we are at the moment, so heat is just like, you know, like even, like even yesterday I was talking about this with my mum, like even yesterday, like it's been so hot outside, like if you step out, it's like, oh my god, it's so hot out here. So yeah, so, um, you know, also heat prevents you as well, you know, you know, when it comes to heat, it makes you very lazy sometimes. Like, you just don't want to do anything. Like, you're just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. Like, who cares? Like, you know. So, heat does. Also, during during summer and this heat that we've been having also affects you as well, entirely as well. Because in heat, in weather like this, you just, you just don't want to do nothing. You just want to laze around all day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. But this heat has been so brutal. Hopefully, it cools down soon. I think it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain today. Or is it next week? I don't know. But we got some rain a couple of days ago, which is good. So, you know. Yeah, cool weather. You know, here it's like, you know. Oh, I bet the laws have got cool weather. Thank God for that. But yeah, but it's been really brutal and hot where we are. So yeah, so anyway. That's also true. Like, it's just not like pain prevent prevented it. But also heat kind of makes you very tired as well. If you get what I'm understanding, then you know what I'm saying as well. It's like heat makes you very um, tired and lethargic and, um, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just heat, you know, but, um, you know, but we prevail. We, you know, we march forward, as they say. Do they say that? I never know they do. 
But yeah, but anyway, sometimes there are days you just like, you know, um, you know, just like, you know, um, kind of like, not give up, but some days you're just like, you know, don't want to do anything, and that's totally fine, you know. Um, sometimes I do go a bit up and down due to my Reynolds. Um, sometimes, so that, so sometimes I'm like really good, but sometimes I'm like not bad, bad. Like I haven't had a Reynolds pain since I've been on that medication I've been taking, which is fantastic. So yeah, so, um, you know, so that's pretty good. But also there are days where I'm just a bit up and down with what I'm going through as well. So if you get what I mean by as well, but like, you know, some days I'm like really good and some days I'm just like really... Um, not down, but not bad, but like, you know, you just go up and down sometimes. You know, your body does, your body does what, what it wants to do and you can't, you know, you know, um, you know, you know, sometimes you feel good, other days you don't feel good. So it's just okay to have a bad day or like, you know, um, have, you know, just have like a lazy day sometimes. Like, that doesn't kill you or anything, um, as well, but also like... You know, this heat has been crazy. It's it's ridiculous. Like, you know, um, it's been it's been brutal where we are. But um, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's just sometimes it just goes surrender. You know, like I surrender. Like I know you don't want to surrender when you're in that much pain. It depends how much pain you want. That's the difference. Like for me, um, sometimes I go a bit up and down due to my Reynolds sometimes. Um, but, um, that's just me personally, but sometimes I have good days, sometimes I have, I have bad days, um, as well, but that's just life, you know, I think every human being has, like, a bit of an off and on switch sometimes, and you just, it just depends on who you are, I guess, and, you know, sometimes, you know, surrendering to pain is good, like, some, like, like, if your person, like, is on the go all the time and doesn't take any rest, that's not good. So, like, sometimes you're just going to relax for a bit and then do something. Or, like, you know, you know, you just got surrender. And if it depends how much pain you are in. That's the difference. Like, if you're in a little bit of pain, yeah, it's fine. But if you're, like, pain, 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 like, extremity pain. Like, I'm talking about really, really bad pain. Like, I'm talking about, like, really, really bad pain and just... You know, rest is all you can do. Like, I know you don't want to, but, you know, it's like sickness. Like, you know, like, oh, I really want to do something, but my arm like, oh, too sick to do it. So it's kind of like that. So, yeah, so make sure to like, share, subscribe and to Mills with Mills with the video, guys. And also, you could check out my other autism talks as well. Also, there's a new autism talks coming very soon. Guys.